Today what we're going to look at is how to better insulate our homes and how to better how to keep them tighter to keep cold air from getting in and to keep our, our home heating expenses down. This window is uh, an example of an air infiltration problem. It's the first thing we're going to be looking at in this particular home. And air infiltration is just another word for heat loss from cold air leaking into the home. So in the case of this example, you can see we've got cold air leaking in. Any moisture from this kitchen area comes into contact with the window and immediately condenses. We're going to use one of these indoor window insulation kits. So the first thing I'm going to do is wipe some of this excessive moisture off the window before I put the kit on. The kit itself is really nothing more than some double-sided tape and a plastic film. What I'm going to do first, just to make sure that that plastic or the tape is going to stick, take a little rubbing alcohol and just wipe this area down. Next thing I want to do is put this tape on. When you're putting the tape on, just make sure you press down good and get it adhered to that uh, window trim real well. Okay, so I've got that on. Before I take this other layer off and expose the adhesive part of the tape, I'm going to kind of size up the plastic. Just hold that up there. You can see I got a cut about right there. Okay, that's going to fit. So now I'll take this film off the tape. This part I start at the top. Get the top on first. Go down the sides. Kind of trying to keep things straight and somewhat tight just to make sure it's really good. What this hair dryer will do is just heat this plastic up. This plastic is made to shrink from heat being exposed to it. I'm going to trim the edges off now. What I like about these little plastic window insulator kits is they create another layer of trapped air between this plastic and the window which increases the window's R value. But it does one more thing. It addresses uh, the conductive heat losses. When we talk about heat losses through conduction, we're looking at that natural transfer of heat energy from an area of a higher temperature through a wall or a window or a door to an area of a lower temperature, or in this case, the outdoors. Now these conductive heat losses depend on three different variables. One, how well the surface is insulated. The higher the R value, the better it's insulated, the lower heat loss you're going to have. The second is the size of that surface. A bigger wall or a bigger ceiling is going to lose more heat than, than a smaller one, all things kept equal. And the third is that temperature difference. If it's 30 below outside and 70 above inside, it's a 100 degree temperature difference. It's going to be a higher heat loss than if it were 20 above and uh, 70 above inside. In this case, what this is going to do it's going to add one more layer of insulation. It's going to increase the R value and uh, slow the heat loss down and make the home a little easier to heat.